So I'm assuming you're here to check out my new bike build. Um, a lot of you guessed it right. I think there's only a couple frames that can fit the 170 mil fork on the 29er. So uh, you guys were right. It is a 2018 Specialized Enduro 29er. Um, a lot of people said Reckoning. I don't know why people think that bike is what it, they think it is. Everyone thinks the Evil Reckoning is the best bike ever made. Um, a lot of people beg to differ, but uh, yeah, we'll focus more on my bike. I'm pretty stoked for this bike. It's going to be the similar to the maximum travel I've ever had, but uh, it's going to be a 29er. So it should be the most aggressive bike I've ever owned, which will be crazy. Hopefully it will help me push my limits and uh, make some more good footage for you guys. So I know you guys were wondering about the build and uh, I'm going to do it in parts. Uh, I'm still injured right now, so it's going to take some time for me to build this thing and I don't even have all the parts in yet. So I just wanted to cover the bases of the first couple parts I've installed so far. So I guess we should go from top to bottom. Um, you guys, I said I was going to run a cool C post and you guys all kind of thought the woo post from Specialized. Not one person actually mentioned the bike yoke, um, which is, which is kind of weird, but it's a newer post. Um, the reason I got it is just reliability. Um, if it does start to sag, like if you've seen a reverb sag before, you can just bleed it out right here. Um, so that should help the longevity of the post. And then a rebuild only takes 10 minutes with tools at your house. You don't need any specialty tools to redo that post. So I really just wanted to get a reliable post this time. Going down from the post, uh, we have the same limited edition uh, Renthal Fat Bar Carbon Bars with the same 40 mil stem off my Firebird. Um, the reach numbers are getting pretty long on these modern bikes, so you can get away with that little shorter stem. And then these bars are actually a 780 width. And hoping these little scratches aren't enough to compromise the bar because it is carbon and I have had it for a good two years or so. <clears throat> also, one more thing about the remote. I really dig the remote. Um, I still might put grip tape over the holes, but it's nice to see that it has some texture and it's a super light action. Um, I really dislike the little clamp, but I might buy a SRAM little adapter clamp. You know the ones that like the shifters hang off of? Um, it should fit perfectly. But yeah, super light action and I'm pretty stoked on that. And you know you gotta have the carbon spacers. <laughs> so what are those bars attached to? This is probably the coolest part of the bike and kind of the heart of the bike. Is Fox finally made a 170 mil 29er fork. I know the Lyric has been out for a while. I. I don't know, that would have been a cool fork, but we got the orange Fox lowers on it. Looks all shiny, looks all clean, has the boost spacing, and then I got this kind of like stealth axle looking thing. So we don't have that little lever on the end. It looks really clean. Um, I haven't played with the fork, obviously, because it's not even built yet, but I'll probably be running around two tokens in there and around like 83-ish PSI, really similar to this bike over here. But yeah, I look forward to setting this fork up and hopefully... Uh, 170 mil 29er is not too much. Um, I'm lucky because I usually run my bar height. Not high, but I'm 6'1", so it's a little high. So hoping the 170 will work and the front end won't be too high for me. Um, that is paired with some 30 mil rise bars. So uh, it is a little concern, but it should be fine. But yeah, I'm stoked on this frame. So the geometry is what I would call perfect for right now. Um, I was on the Firebird. And I always felt like the rear end was a little too short, and I always thought the front end was a tiny too long. So this is only like five millimeters shorter in the reach, and then five millimeters longer in the bottom bracket, or the, sorry, the five millimeters longer in the chainstay, which um, I think it could be off by a mill or two on that. But yeah, I kind of more centralized me on the bike. Uh, I'm a big fan of having longer chainstays for a bigger rider. Even though these are short chainstays, I think they're 433, um, it's still longer than what I had. Um, ideally, the Transition Sentinel, I think you just call it like that? Sentinel. The Transition Sentinel has pretty good geometry. It has like the 435 rear end and then the 475 reach. Uh, I think this is a 463 reach. But yeah, it's getting in the ballpark and I think it's really good. Um, I'm stoked the bottom bracket's a little lower 
Um, I'm gonna go with 170 millimeter cranks, so I won't be getting those pedal strikes like I kind of used to on this bike. When you have 170 mil of travel and you have a low bottom bracket, and then you have 175 cranks, it just sags and makes it really easy to hit rocks. But yeah, I'm stoked on the geometry of this bike, and I think it's gonna work perfect for me. I don't know yet because I haven't been on it, but I'm pretty stoked. And then today I just put on the Float X2. Um, if you guys saw that, it was on my Instagram story, so that's how you guys keep up to date, is to follow on Instagram. But yeah, we got the Float X2, but it needs a little sprucing up. We're gonna get a little orange decal from uh, Stickered. It's gonna look really good in orange. I think it's gonna tie in really well. I'm waiting on some Maxxis tires, and I think you'll be really stoked on what I'm actually getting. Uh, might be something you've seen before, but probably not. But um, it's going to be a tire that's similar to the Aggressor, so uh, look forward to that. It's just going to be like a super aggressive Aggressor if you thought the Aggressor was too low profile for you. So that's coming in soon. Um, public will be a long time, but you'll figure that out later on. Um, as for that, I think uh, that's all we got is some bars, stem, fork, seat post, and shock. But uh, yeah, follow along on this build. I'll keep updating you on the process and how it's going. Um, I'm really impressed with the cable routing actually. Um, this has been one of the better setups I've had. There's like internal sheathing inside here, so all I did was slide the cable in and popped out the other end. Um, and then for the rear derailleur, you actually have to kind of fish it in here for a second, just like a quick second in. When you open the SWAT door and have all that room, it was super easy to set up and uh, yeah, my favorite cable routing so far, especially coming from a Yeti. The Yeti SB6 cable routing makes you want to shoot yourself and this is just like wow, like yeah, it's easy. So stoked on that. Um, the one flaw I do see with this frame, I'm actually like, I was not a specialized guy, but I'm pretty impressed with all the small details. But the one thing I can't get over is why they didn't include a third ISGG tab. I'm still gonna run a one-up bash guard, but it's not gonna be as secure as if it had three. So I just don't see why they didn't. I know having the threaded bottom bracket kind of makes the area pretty weighty already, and they probably didn't want to add more weight, but I think it would have been worth it, and it's a good peace of mind. It, I'll actually show you in another video the picture of my last bash guard, but I messed that thing up. I took a chunk out of it. So it's obviously something that I use and gets hit, so I would have liked to see a little more attention to detail there. But other than that, I don't know, I've had such good luck with this frame, uh, setting it up, it's, I don't know, I'm pretty happy with all the small little details. They even um, wrapped the down tube for you already from Rock Strikes, so, I don't know, pretty impressed and uh, yeah. If you guys look forward to seeing what else is coming on this bike, uh, make sure you look out for some extra videos. So I'm gonna sign off and I'll catch you on the trails. Just kidding, I probably won't catch you on the trails because I still can't ride a bike. But soon enough, I'll catch you out in the trails. <laughs>